Learning Objectives After studying this learning module, students will be able to define and explain different concepts and features of business, elucidate characteristics of different kinds of public enterprises, departmental corporations, statutory organizations, joint ventures, government companies, Critically analyze the changing role of public sector. Elucidate features of global or multinational organizations. Appreciate the merits of joint ventures. Define features, merits and demerits of PPP. Introduction. Business organizations are of different kinds. Economy is divided into two different sectors, public and private. There are several kinds of business organizations and entities. Some of them are small level and some operate on large scale. Some are privately owned while some are owned by government of India. All these organizations affect our daily economic activities and thus contribute to the Indian economy. Indian economy consists of both private and public sectors, so it becomes the mixed economy. Indian Government and Mixed Economy Government of India has allowed the public and private sectors to operate successfully in India and contribute to the overall growth of the Indian economy. For this, the government also plans industrial policy resolutions from time to time to consider the improvement steps to boost up the performance of private and public sectors. Government's Policy Industrial Policy Resolution 1948 focused on the development of industrial sectors. Industrial Policy Resolution 1956 was centered upon the objective to accelerate the rate of growth and industrial investments. On the other hand, Industrial Policy Resolution 1991 was designed to disinvestment of the public sector and flexibility to the private sector. Different forms of public and private sector. Public sector has been classified into three categories. Departmental undertakings, statutory companies, government companies. While private sector consists of several categories, sole proprietorship, partnership firms, joint Hindu family, cooperative agencies, company, public limited and private limited and multinational corporations known as MNCs. Departmental Undertakings Types of Public Sector Organizations Organizations participating in public sector are of three types. Departmental Undertakings Statutory Corporation Government Company Departmental Undertakings Parts or extensions of the Department of Ministry operated by the Government of India and its employees are government employees. Works under the central or state government. Examples of departmental undertakings are post and telegraph department. Features of departmental undertakings. Funding is done through government treasury. Revenue earning and budget allocation are also the government treasury. Recruitment and regulation of the employees are done by the government, accountable to the Ministry of the Concerned Department. Merits of Departmental Undertakings These departments ensure a high degree of public accountability. Parliament has effective control over their operations. As the revenue directly goes to government's treasury, so such departments are the great source of income. Under the direct control of concerned ministry, the department is effectively concerned with the operations, limitations or demerits of departmental undertakings, lack of flexibility, lack of professional management, unable to take advantages of business opportunities, lack of autonomy, operated by political considerations, lots of political interference, Inadequate services to consumers. Statutory Corporations Definition Statutory Corporations are those public enterprises 
which have been formed by the Special Act of Parliament. With the power of government, statutory corporations have some flexibility of private enterprises. Features of statutory corporations Set up and governed by the provisions of the Parliament, owned by the state and the state government, has the authority to consider profit and loss. Funded by the borrowings from the government and revenues, employees are hired and governed by the provisions of the Act passed on its own. Merits of Statutory Corporation Such organizations have a high degree of independence and operational flexibility. The government does not interfere in financial matters. These are autonomous organizations framing their own policies. Power of government is vested in these organizations as per the initiatives of the private enterprises. Limitations of Statutory Corporations These are not flexible in reality. Government and political interference are to be seen. Corruptions are rampant when it comes to deal with public. The government has the practice of appointing the advisory to the corporation, which minimizes the freedom of decision and operation. Government Corporations Definition Government company is set up under the Companies Act, 2030. 51% of the paid-up capital is owned by the central government or by state government. It may be formed as a public limited or private limited company. The shares of such company are purchased in the name of President of India. Features of Government Company The company can file a suit against any other party in the court of law and can also be sued. It can sign a contract and can buy property in its name. Similar to every other public limited company, the management of a government enterprise is controlled by the provisions of the Company Act. These enterprises are exempted from audits and accounting regulations. Funds are raised from government shareholdings. Merits of Government Company Company can be set up by fulfilling requirements of the Company Act and there is no need of separate Parliament Act. Decisions are made as per business prudence. These companies can curb unfair business practices by providing goods and services at economical rates. Limitations of Government Company as the government is the sole shareholder, the Company Act doesn't have much relevance. The company escapes constitutional responsibility as it is not answerable directly to the parliament. The management is in the hands of the government. Changing Role of Public Sector Post-independence, public sector enterprises have played an active role in achieving goals of the economy. Development of Infrastructure Road, Sea, Rail and Air Transportation expanded and contributed significantly to industrialization and future growth. Give infrastructure and investments to the core sectors of the economy. Regional Balance Government laid down the five-year plan after 1951 to pay attention to particularly those areas which were lagging behind. Four major steel plants were established to ensure employment for the laborers and development of ancillary industries. Economies of scale Public sector enterprises had to step in where large-scale industries required to be established to take benefit of economies of scale. Petroleum Natural gas, electric power plants, and telephone industries are a few examples of public sector enterprises establishing large-scale units. Tab over concentration of economic power. The public sector keeps a tab over concentration of economic power in the hands of private sector enterprises. By setting up large-scale industries, which need vast capital investment, whose income is shared among huge number of workers, public sector prevents the concentration of power in the hands of private sector. Import Substitution 
With the involvement of public sector in heavy engineering, India became self-reliant in importing and exporting goods from and to other countries. Government policies towards public sector since 1991. Revive and restructure potential PSUs. Close public sector enterprises, which cannot be restructured or revived. Government equity in all non-strategic public enterprise were brought down to 26%. Complete protection of the interests of workers. Global Corporations Definition Global enterprises, also known as multinational corporations, MNCs, are gigantic corporations which have their presence in several countries. They are big industrial organizations which spread their business functions through a network of their branches in various nations. Features of Global Enterprises Global enterprises have huge financial resources and they are able to raise their funds from different sources. Due to their financial strength, they can survive under every circumstances. They enter into collaborations with Indian corporations based on production of goods, sale of technology, use of brand names for selling final products, etc. These companies use superior technologies in the production of goods. They have highly sophisticated R&D and quality control departments. They use innovative, more effective and aggressive marketing strategies to increase their sales. They exercise control over all their branches through their headquarters. Their business functions extend beyond national boundaries. Because of their giant size, they hold a dominant position in the market. Joint Ventures A joint venture is the pooling of expertise and resources between two or more businesses for achieving a specific business goal. The rewards and risks of the business are thus also shared. The primary reasons for joint ventures are operation expansion, development of new goods, and entering into new markets. Types of joint ventures. There are usually two types of joint ventures, contractual and equity-based. In a contractual joint venture, a new jointly owned business entity is not formed and there is only a business contract or agreement to work together. Parties work with common intentions. Every involved party brings some resources and inputs. Each party has some control over the business. On the other hand, in an equity-based joint venture, a separate business entity is formed, which is owned jointly by two or more parties. The chief operative factor in an equity-based joint venture is joint ownership by two or more parties. There is a shared ownership, management, and responsibilities on the parties involved. Examples of joint ventures AVI Oil India Private Limited, Green Gas Limited, Delhi Aviation Fuel Facility Private Limited. Benefits of joint ventures Businesses can gain huge profits through joint ventures. Teaming up or joining hands with other businesses enhances the existing expertise and resources helping joint venture company to grow more quickly and efficiently. By entering into a joint venture with a partner, from some other country. A business opens up a huge market. Technology is the major reason for businesses to enter into joint ventures. Joint ventures allow businesses to come up with some new innovations, technologies, and business ideas. When international organizations enter in joint venture with Indian companies, they benefit hugely due to low production cost. By entering into joint ventures, two parties benefit from each other's goodwill. Public-Private Partnership Definition The Public-Private Partnership PPP model assigns obligations, tasks, and risks among the private and public partners in an efficient way. Public partners in PPP model refers to government organizations like government departments, ministries, state-owned enterprises, etc. The private partners may involve international or local enterprises with financial and technical expertise. PPP also involve NGOs and community-based corporations who are stakeholders involved in the project. Therefore, PPP is the relationship between private and public entities in the milieu of infrastructure and other services. 
Features of PPP Agreement with a private organization to design and create public facility. Facility is financed by the public sector organization. Key force is the allocation of design and construction risk. Merits of PPP Transfer of plan and construction menace. Potential to fast track project. Demerits of PPP Issues may arise between parties on environmental considerations. Does not fascinate private finance easily. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Economy is divided into two different sectors, public and private. There are several kinds of business organizations and entities. Some of them are small level and some operate on large scale. Some are privately owned while some are owned by government of India. Indian economy consists of both private and public sectors, so it becomes the mixed economy. Organizations participating in public sector are of three types. Departmental undertakings, statutory corporation and government company. Departmental undertakings are parts or extensions of the Department of Ministry operated by the government of India. Statutory corporations are those public enterprises which have been formed by the Special Act of Parliament. With the power of government, statutory corporations have some flexibility over private enterprises. Government company is set up under the Companies Act 2013. 51% of the paid-up capital is owned by the central government or by state government. Post-independence public sector enterprises have played an active role in achieving goals of the economy. Global enterprises, also known as multinational corporations, MNCs, are gigantic corporations, which have their presence in several countries. A joint venture is the pooling of expertise and resources between two or more businesses for achieving a specific business goal. The rewards and risk of the business are thus also shared. The primary reason for joint ventures are operation expansion, development of new goods, and entering into new markets. There are two types of joint ventures, namely contractual joint venture and equity-based joint venture. The public-private partnership models assign obligations, tasks, and risk among the private and public partners in an efficient way.